as we know that according to the official documentation create react app is dead and is not supported further even react team has also introduced brand new documentation on react as react.dev so what next can we able to create react applications in the future well in this video we will talk about one of the best and faster alternative to create react app or cra and also i will discuss why this all thing happened suddenly so let's get started first of all i will try to solve this big confusion that why react is outdated and not supported anymore in response to this question i would say that react is not outdated in any means and is not going anywhere probably in the coming years instead it is getting popular day by day in the form of next js next js is a complete react framework that uses react library and has many advanced concepts such as server side rendering and static side generation next js is considered to be the future of react and web development with next js you can create a full stack application as well it consists of routing and many other features by default and this is one of the best advantage of a framework over library that a framework is bigger compared to library and has pretty much everything by default so you don't need to install a lot of third party packages and the official documentation also recommend using a framework over pure react js library like they are recommending next js for website and expo for mobile app development but let me show you a faster alternative to create react app if i click on show details button under can i use react without a framework there it has been said that if you are still not convinced or your app has unusual constraints not served well by these frameworks and you would like to roll up your own custom setup we can't stop you go for it grab react and react dom from npm set up your custom build process with a bundler like vit or parcel and add other tools as you need them for routing static generation or server side rendering so here is the best alternative to cra and that is vite it is a newer build tool that was created by ivan yu who also created the vue js framework so i recommend go with vite if you want to use pure react without any framework but my first recommendation would be next js so now let's see what is vite and why it is a faster alternative to cra vite is a fast and efficient development tool that is the best alternative to cra which was using webpack it speeds up the bundling of javascript by using the es6 modules concept and hence it is the faster javascript bundler that bundles javascript directly to the browser without the need for time consuming bundling vite also uses code splitting to load only the necessary code result in a faster development experience for production builds vite uses rollup as a module bundler and applies optimizations to minimize the file size as an alternative to cra vite offers improved speed customization options and other features out of the box it eliminates the need for expensive bundling allowing for immediate browser updates and reducing the development time so vite is just a build tool like cra and guys now i hope you understand that it's the cra that is only outdated not the actual react library so enough theory and now let's go ahead and see practically that how to use vite so to create a react app with vite you need to install vite first we can do this by running the following command it will ask for the framework so as vite is supported by most of the frameworks out there i will simply choose react you can use arrow keys to pick one so now vite will create a new project for us with all the dependencies that we need by the way we can also use the dash dash template flag to specify a template while creating a new app like for react you can add the command as dash dash template react Anyways we are done creating a new react app and now it is the same react app that we used to create with create react app but this time with just a new build tool if we look at the folder structure so first of all the index.html has been moved to src and the public folder is just reserved for static assets like images and fonts the index.html file is very similar to create react app it has a div with an id of root and all the dynamic react application will come here in this div 
As I told you earlier that Viet uses the concept of module, so here you can see that the script tag is using the type equal to module attribute. This tells the browser that we are using ES6 modules. And here it is using the src attribute to point to the main.jsx file. The main.jsx file has made as an entry point to our React application. This is where we will import our app component and render it to the DOM using react dom.render method. Then we have our app.jsx JSX file, this is where we will write our React code. There is nothing really different here. We can continue to write our React code as usual. If we look at the package.json file, here we have React and React DOM as our dependencies. We also have Vite as a dev dependency here. And for the scripts, we have a dev script. This will start the development server. We also have a build script that is used to build our React app for production. There is also a preview script that is used to preview a static web server and note that this will serve the files in the dist folder. This preview script is just a new and useful feature for testing the production build. And as you guessed it right that the production build will go inside a dist folder. So let's test it all. First of all let's launch our application. So I will open my terminal in VS Code using control and backticks shortcut and will run the following command as npm run dev. This will launch our development server and trust me guys it is quite faster compared to CRA. So this is the welcome screen that Veed provides to us by default. It has a simple working counter as well. Now you can change this through your app.jsx file. I hope you can do it. And now let's try to stop the server and build our application next. So I will run the command as npm run build and as you can see that the dist folder has been created and it holds all our static files. Finally to preview the build let's run the preview script and there you go it now shows the production build. Finally the vite.config.js file is the configuration file for vite. This is where we can add plugins and configure the development server. We can also change some settings including the port that the development server runs on. By default it runs on port 5173. I prefer port 3000 so I am going to change it to that. And now if I run my app it will be available at localhost port 3000. So guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Also I want to mention that if you are interested to see why you should learn TypeScript, watch this video.